finally got my roof fixed and my insurance company paid me to fix it. And no, you did not just see it all fixed up. That's right, my insurance company paid me to fix my own roof. And if you missed this video right here, go ahead and take a look. That's where the insurance adjuster came out, took a look at the roof to see what was covered. And luckily I had the right kind of coverage, but check that video out because I'd let you know what coverage you need because there's a lot of stuff not covered on your RV. But let me explain what you just saw at the beginning of this video. So about a year ago, back in Louisiana, we were staying at the Cracker Barrel and I noticed when I was walking the dogs, the roof looked a little different up top. Sure enough, when I went there to take a look, I saw the lap seal was completely ripped and torn. And since we were traveling and I had to get going, I went to a local RV store, bought some RV roof tape. I went ahead and taped it up and it actually came out pretty good and it seemed to hold for quite a while. So fast forward about 10 months from Louisiana, while editing some video, I noticed my roof was blowing up like a balloon. So at a rest stop in Utah off Highway 50, I ended up going up there and trying to fix it. And I put these little cutoff pieces on there and I tried to pull them tight to go ahead and stretch the roof tight and retape it and, and it held. It looked ugly, but you know what? There was no rips, there was no tears, it was not leaking and it seemed to be okay. Well, fast forward another three months and I notice it's still loosening up and there's definitely still arrogant and so it is time to fix this. But before I went ahead and fixed it, I thought, you know what, I better check with my insurance and see because this may be covered. And that's when the adjuster came out and he took a look and I found out that I was covered and they cut me a check. And I'm gonna share with you guys how I fixed my roof because it came out awesome and I added a vent in there, which we've been, me and my wife have been talking about for quite some time and I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna fix the roof, I might as well just go ahead and cut a hole in it too and put a vent, right? So that's what I did. So here is how I fixed my roof, guys. And I'm actually very happy with it. So the original plan was to go ahead and remove all the old tape that I'd put on there while I was traveling to get me by. And then after I removed it, I was gonna go ahead and stretch the membrane tight, re-glue it, put in my vent on the roof and call it good and it should be great. Well, I tell you what, this tape, Trying to take it off is one of the hardest things I've ever done on an RV. Than anything. Yeesh. Yeah, because it's just kind of stretching it more and making it more, it's going to be more wavy. Because my plan was to go ahead and take all this stuff off. There's like a, a bunch of bound up stuff right here where I had to pull it down before and it's kind of wadded up across there. So I was hoping to pull all this stuff off and then I'm going to go ahead and cut my hole in the middle where I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, vent. And I was gonna stretch everything, pull it all back. And I figured that might actually work. And then I got the glue to re-glue all this stuff. But I don't know about taking this stuff off here. It looks like it is just gonna screw things up big time. I'm gonna have to rethink about this here real quick. Cause this looks like a complete pain in the butt. And it's gonna screw my roof up even more. At least it doesn't leak right now. No issues like that. I wanna keep that without having to replace this whole membrane, so. So it was on to plan B. Let's just cut the front of the roof off. Cut back some of the ceiling I put on. Pulled off the black trim, started unscrewing the metal trim, pull it back, and then next is to go ahead and pull out these staples. I laid this board up here to get a straight edge so I could make a nice straight cut with it. Here we go, cutting the roof. Sorry about the dark video, I was using my GoPro, it's all I had available at the time, but I wanted to get a good start because I had a, only a couple days at the current location I was at to get my roof all fixed. And the glue didn't stick that good while I was driving down the road, but it sure seems to stick just fine when I'm trying to pull it off. And this is where I ended for the night. I got my nice straight cut all the way across, ready to continue in the morning. It's gonna get sticky. It's gonna get sticky. Oh, my pants are gonna stick. Oh, they're already sticking. There's actually a metal rail underneath all this tape and goo I'm pulling off. I tell you what though, this tape, man, it sure sticks really good. When I pull off this tape, it's pulling up the tape and the old lap seal that goes over all these screws. All right, so I'm not sure, but I'm thinking about leaving this piece here just because it's going out onto this and that's gonna be a pain in the butt to clean up. So I'm thinking about leaving this, but I'm thinking about cutting back a little bit further. So yeah, just like that, just trim that little section back all the way across and then I think when I'm all done, I'll end up just putting another piece because I got another roll of that tape over it. Just because this is gonna be a complete mess. And that's pretty straight. I'll clean it up a little bit, but I think that'd probably be best. I got that pretty cleaned up right over there. And then I went ahead and I uh, Lexoled it, some silicone stuff, put underneath the cap there, because before it had nothing, 
and somehow there was some air or something so hoping that might help seal a little bit up there here's my fan I got you guys ever heard of fantastic fan well that's a specific brand but this is a fan that is just like a fantastic fan really cool it'll blow air in blow air out it has different features this is what I need for right now well I know it's somewhere in here so before I completely fix the roof, I need to get my hole cut for my vent. Oh, kind of a scary thought, cutting a hole in your roof. Just cutting a little access hole. What I'm doing is I'm looking for the edge right here so I know where this lip is gonna go up and where it's gonna be, which I just found it, which is pretty much right here on my trim piece. All right. This is actually gonna go over like that. That's putting my head to good use. All right, it ain't perfect. But look at that. There we go. Square marks the spot. Pretty much where it's gonna go. I'm gonna double check, make sure it's pretty centered both ways. I think the hardest part with this whole thing is actually getting it centered on top. So I think I'm going to just get the center here. I'm going to drill a hole with a long screwdriver, or screwdrivers, a drill bit up through the roof. And then I'll just kind of work my way back easy till I hit this beam here and then kind of work that way. And, uh, and I'll go a little, little because I don't want to overcut something. I mean, I have a little bit of wiggle room in this, but not a whole lot and i'd rather not have a big old extra gapping hole inside here so anyways that to me i think is going to be the hardest part but it's still not that hard so not too bad did i tell you it's hot today oh my god i got the air conditioner off because the water would run over what i'm doing it's like 90 something degrees here in reading <sighs> i always pick the hottest days to do stuff but whatever we're getting her done i measured here the whole thing's just a hair more this way, but I gotta have clearance for this, for my air duct, because it has the lip. So anyways, I made it go this way, just about a half inch off from center. This is the center of my square here. So I'm gonna drill a hole up through the roof, and hopefully this is where I want it. Okay, baby. Now. Match the angle of the roof. I really hope that was it. Well, I got a little smarter. I brought some of the old roof back up so I can be on it instead of getting all sticky stuff. I'm just laying out the measurements for the, the vent square. The vent's 14 inches. So I'm just making sure I get everything all lined up. I'm trying to be careful here because there's still so much glue residue. And when I cut that hole, so I'm gonna cut a hole of this old one and set it around the hole so when I'm cutting, maybe some of the sawdust and whatnot won't go everywhere. I don't know, we'll see. Got Carly up here helping me right now, being daddy's little helper. That'll help some, just so it helps catch some of the stuff because it's, I guess they so sticky. And then she is also gonna vacuum. Look at that, got a hole in the roof. So now the plan is to take the drill, the long drill bit, and I'm gonna go in each of the corners down into the bedroom, and then I can just go down into the bedroom and cut the square from this. So well, that's what I'm thinking anyways. See how that goes. All right, so I got my holes there, and look at that actually pretty dang close to my marks that I made look at that this is the only one that's out just a little bit but that's okay 
They look pretty good to be kind of right on the spot. I'm gonna use a tape measure and stuff, but there's a lot of guesswork that goes into this too. <laughs> good thing I'm a good guesser. Getting ready to cut. I'm actually just gonna use this guy right here. And Harley's got our little built-in uh, vacuum cleaner. I think it almost might work. Almost. Might. Both keywords, almost and might. Now I gotta go up top and make sure the top part, which is actually a little bit wider than this piece, so I may have to do some trimming, but I'd prefer to do more trimming than have to try and fill a gap or something. Then I just have to figure out where I'm gonna fish wires from. Because I don't have 12 volt right here other than a light, but that works off a switch, so I don't want that. I do have power under my bed that I ran before, so I might tap into that and actually come up the closet and then up into the roof and then fish the wires through into here. So don't know, but I'll deal with that when it comes, but that's my thought right now. And always remember, measure twice, cut once. This little bubble here. I'm gonna try and lift this up. Get a little glue underneath. You definitely want a roller when you're doing a job like this need to be able to roll all the wrinkles and all the little crevices out. Down over the edge, like several feet. Huh? One more? Okay, Kevin, pull your front corner a little tighter. And here it is laid out across the whole roof. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue it down half at a time. So I fold back half, go glue one side down, and then I'll refold the other side back up, glue it, and put it down, and roll it all out. And when you glue this, you want to just put a nice thick coat of glue on, and it seems to soak in the wood pretty quick. And then roll, roll, roll your roof. It is a hot one today. I've been sweating all day. It's been like 90 something degrees today, but we're getting there. Look, I got that half glued down. Flip this back over. Just glued this stuff down. Just let it dry just a little bit. And then we'll push that back over and then I'll roll it out. We're getting, and it's crazy to believe that the roof used to be that color. And now it looks whitish, but it's not white. It's like a dirty tan but that was the original color like that. Just sun fade, I guess, over the couple years. I mean, it's only two and a half going on three years old, but used to be that color, now it's that. All right, well, here it is in the morning. The next day, it's hot today and I'm glad it's hot because I need the heat to help the glue to settle so I can finish rolling all this out really good not the glue is all nice and hot underneath get some of those little ripples out um, but hopefully should go okay I'm adding Lexol on this front edge again because I really want to make sure I get this all sealed up because somewhere somehow air was getting underneath and Lexol works great for a lot of things it's a sealer it's like a glue you can use it on almost anything. The only thing you don't want to do is put it on something that's going to be directly in the sun all the time because it will dry out over time. Get the metal rail all nice and cleaned off and put some new butyl tape down. So 
so hot up here. Guys, so if you're doing this, you need the heat almost to help get the uh, glued, the adhesive to stick good. But keep in mind, it is so hot up here, this roof right now. That's why I got these. My knees are on that. All right, so I got that piece all installed. Going across there now, I'm gonna go ahead, actually I'm gonna go ahead, cause I'm having this overlap just a hair. I'm gonna roll this piece back a little bit. And I'm gonna stick some other stuff underneath to seal that top piece. And then I'm gonna roll everything back up again to get nice and tight. And then I'm gonna put some stuff under the top piece to help seal that as well. And then at the end, there'll be a little bit of self-leveling lap seal that goes over the whole thing. So that's the plan for now. Got some Lexol all the way across there to help seal. So, all right, Ev, yep. let it flip over. Let it go. Make it all nice and straight there on the end. bit more up under here all right we got that stapled across here now there's gonna be screws on this track that are really what's gonna hold it in this is just to help so I noticed when I took it off that side over there had uh, staples and screws. This side over here just had screws, no staples. I guess it depends on who's working that day. So I got this little corner piece that goes on to the top, attaches to the top. Now I'm just gonna work this way down and this guy just bends down to where it ends in here and then I had a little gutter to put back on too, so. All right, now I need to leave a little room because I have to put the gutter back on this gutter goes in here like so all right so what I'm gonna do to give it a little extra is I'm going to put a little bit of this in there this stuff acts like glue too and it's also gonna have a screw but you can never be too cautious okay I'll figure the rest of that out while I'm trimming, cause it's gonna have sealer going across, lap seal, all this will be all nice and sealed. Um, so I'll figure out, cause I think I'll probably trim underneath here. So, but that's okay. Looking good so far. All right, getting the hole cut. I got that done. But no matter what I do on a couple little spots, it will not stick no matter what. So I don't know. I know there was a couple pieces of plywood that kind of came up and I ripped out. That might be where that is. So I don't know. I guess I'll just keep rolling it. My thoughts are you can never have too much when you're sealing something. So I put Lexel on the bottom of my fan as well. And this lap seal here, you just have it where it goes on top of the metal and then run off the side and it does all the work for you. It's self-leveling lap seal. So I just run it across the whole bottom, the whole top, and then across where the screws go. A little more Lexel underneath this top piece here and just kind of smooth it out. It's a messy job, but it works. A little messy, but you know what? Oh well. Well, the roof's looking pretty good though, guys. Some of those little bubbles that I had earlier in the middle, they, they went out. I have one little tiny thing right there, and I remember there's a chunk of plywood that came up. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go, and I don't know. I'm gonna figure something out, but all in all, pretty happy. And then I was going back and forth on, do I wanna use lap seal across this seam right here? I decided not to. Uh, uh, my mom's actually going to the store for me. I'm getting some four inch wide of that extreme hold tape like I had on the front across here. 
because man that stuff sure sticks good that stuff worked amazing so I'm just thinking four inch wide strip of the tan across there I think that'll be perfect and it'll look nice too it'll match the color all right so since the top's all done now now I just gotta get ready to fish the wires through so what I'm gonna do is it's gonna go wires gonna go right through over to the corner into my closet I already drilled a hole inside the closet and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my super sophisticated wire fisher 5000 and I'm gonna stick this through up here and in through and it's gonna go all the way over here to the corner in the closet and I'm gonna try and grab this this wire that I put on the end here I'm gonna bring that down through the hole tape the new wire to it and pull it through <laughs> should work good huh sweetie car car got my little handy helper there all right let's do some fishing okay move it I'll go ahead and move it a little. little bit of change of plan had to go over to the light and now I got it through and I got the wire coming through so I can pull it this way and then I'm gonna fish it from here into here hopefully that works fish on All right, there we go. Had to do one extra step by pulling the light down and fishing to there first and then over to here. Because apparently I didn't have a straight shot. I think there's a, a beam going across and I was either too far this way or too far this way when I tried to fish that in, but there we go. All right, guys, there we go. Got a working fan. Look at that. Got the wires all run down the closet and it comes out the bottom, goes under my bed and then it goes in. and then it taps into some wiring that I already put down there to run so we have 12 volt when we need to when we're uh, not hooked up to stuff so perfect well the roof's all done I think it came out pretty good a couple of days work and we're back on the road and we headed down to Shingle Springs to visit family and install the new black trim that I had ordered Went to Sand Mountain, Nevada to celebrate my oldest son's birthday and my brother's birthday. Went back to California and then drove up to Idaho to where we currently are now. And here we are now with over a thousand miles. So let's go up on the roof here and take a look and see how it looks. All right guys, look at that. It actually came out really, really good. There's my four inch uh, tape that I put on there. And then I ended up sealing all the way, the whole edge of the whole entire roof all the way around. Those extra bubbles that I had on the top there, those are all gone and smoothed out. Got the lap seal all good on the front here. But that's it guys, that's how I fixed my roof. I'm really happy, it came out really good. And you know what, all said and done, I'm into this thing only about, right about 400 bucks even is what I'm into this thing. And that includes the $130 fan that I put in the bedroom as well. So, all right guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will catch you down the road on the next one. Have a good one. Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my wife. I was working on the ground, come a sun up to sun down. Hey, I try to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving me. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a honky tonk star. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk star.